Hey guys, it's Rudy here, and today I have a live Wi-Fi battle against Kevin, and his link will be in the description. I also wanted to mention that since this is the first Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, live Wi-Fi I'm doing, if this reaches like 200 likes, I'll do another, but I kind of just want to know whether you like postcom or live more, and that's kind of going to determine what direction I want to go in, and like, what type I'm going to have more of, so there's that. Also, second thing is, leave in the comments what mega you want to see me use in the next one, and I will try and use it. I know Mega Low Pony is highly, highly requested, and I'm trying to get a competitive set for it, so don't worry. But other than that, you could keep putting Mega Low Pony, but you could also put whatever other megas you want to see me use. Other than that, I think one of his uh, two, of, well, two potential leads would be Greninja if he wants to U-turn out, if it has to U-turn, or John Fan if he wants to set up Stealth Rocks. Also, there's really no point in me setting up Stealth Rocks immediately because Don Fan can rapid spin them away. So I think I'm gonna lead off with Rotom because Rotom just seems to be the best to deal with both of those. The only trouble I'd have is if he let off with the Rose Raid, in which case I would have to kind of play around that. So that's my really super duper quick introduction, and then we're gonna just pick the rest of our team here. And as you may notice well once you see my team there are a couple potential megas I might have on my team and uh, hopefully this battle goes well it's been a while since I did live so I might be a bit pff, a bit not as cool so um, also I made a new layout well I didn't make a new layout but Joe made me a new layout and I think it looks awesome so hopefully you enjoy the new layout as opposed to all the pink which was <laughs> the old one we used in X and Y so he leads off with the Rose Raid predicting my Rotom lead this is the one thing I didn't want to see and I'm kind of worried about staying in really but honestly Heatran is the best option for me to go into unless he's carrying something like Hidden Power Ground there's really no reason for me not to go into Heatran because it completely walls this thing assuming it has a poison a grass and maybe HP fire is what they usually have but he goes for Giga Drain and that's perfect because now I know that this thing isn't a threat so I can just easily set up stealth rocks and just take care of it well not take care of it but he's not gonna want to stay in he has no reason to stay in unless he's predicting me to set up stealth rocks and he wants to set up toxic spikes in return which I guess is a decent payoff if you really want to but there isn't much use for toxic spikes unless you're running semi stall or stall which isn't really the case with this this team he goes into Don Fan here as I predicted now he's either gonna sub stealth Fox or he's gonna want to rapid spin them so in this case given what I have I have a hidden power here unfortunately I don't know if it's the right one so I'm kind of gonna hope that it's grass it's, it's probably grass or ice so I'm just gonna go for the hidden power took it took a chance here because I really didn't see this thing as a threat at all it does have which I'm really happy with as he goes for the rapid spin now perfect opportunity because first of all I'm preventing him from setting up stealth rocks and I outspeed him so he really has no reason to stay in so I really don't think he's gonna stay in when he could switch out into something like Greninja to handle this so, unless he unless he predicts it to be like Hidden Power Grass and he's in trouble, I really don't think he's going to stay in, honestly. So I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks again, and he stays in. So that ends up being not in my favor. But if I had Balloon, I'd feel a lot more safe for staying in. He just goes for the Earthquake, and that's going to take me out. But I do get up Stealth Rock again, which is pretty important, especially since he's at this low health. It's really not... Like, he's not going to want to stay in, but... At the same time, if he does stay in, then at least he's not getting a rapid spin off. Or is, um, whatchamacall, he's also not going to be able to get his stealth rock off. So, good opportunity for me to go into Sceptile here. Now, if he's predicting me to be a uh, Mega Sceptile, not happening. This isn't my Mega Sceptile, and I believe I can live an Ice Shard from this thing regardless and still KO with. I believe I have Leaf. Yeah, I have Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm will take this thing out easily, unless he happens to go to full health somehow, which isn't really gonna happen. So the best thing I see him going for is the Ice Shard. If he wants to sack this thing off, if he wants to save it and go into Roserade, that also might be a possibility. So I mean, I wasn't really sure what my hidden power was. That's the main thing. It was probably ice or fire I can't remember which is awful but yes he does go for the ice shard and it might be ice or fire I take that fantastically that did like nothing and obviously leaf storms get KO now the only problem we're in right now is that I'm a minus two and if he goes in with anything at all that can set up then we're in trouble and I'm gonna have to switch out 
Now that's the only problem we're at right now, and hopefully we don't really sacrifice too much trying to get this thing out of the way and potentially let him set up with something else. But he goes into Rose Raid, which is fine. Now, because, especially because I'm at minus two, even if I did carry something like HP Fire, it's not going to do a lot at all. And my Heatran's gone. I think the next best thing I have might be something like Beedrill, but if he carries HP Fire or something like that, then I'm in trouble. So let me just go to Beedrill because I, I really think Beedrill is going to be a really good, like, thing to deal with this, honestly. If he's going to want to attack me with a poison type attack, Beedrill can handle that, I think. Unless I'm severely underestimating Beedrill's, um... Defenses, which I might be. Yeah, see, Beedrill, I mean, like, it's not very effective, but, like, I'm not gonna get poisoned, and it takes it fairly well for being a Beedrill. So, we're gonna Mega Evolve here. Uh, now, I don't know if we even wanna, s I don't know if he's gonna wanna stay in, or if I should be safe and protect, and then you turn out. I, I need Beedrill. I need Beedrill, and that's, that's the bottom line. I need Beedrill, so... I'm going to stay safe and protect even though I had a feeling he wasn't going to stay in, but he might be choice at this rate with how he's switching out, he might be choice, and if Star Raptor has Intimidate, which it doesn't, well, Mega happens and then Ability, unless Ability then Mega, but I kind of slipped my mind. Uh, yeah, I protect and it fails, but Star Raptor is here and it doesn't have Intimidate, meaning it has Reckless. Although, very high possibility that Star Raptor is Scarfed, and I really don't want to stay in on Scarfed like Brave Bird, or Close Combat for that matter. And I think if I go into my Landris and I intimidate him, then I can take it kind of okay. Uh, depending on what set he is, if he's running like Choice Band Reckless, that's going to do a lot, and that's damage that I don't want to take, but unfortunately I kind of have to. Also, this Landris isn't the most ideal set given this team because I'm running... Uh, stealth Rock on this as well. Two Stealth Rockers, so if I lost my first one, I have a second one. But that does, it's alright damage. And he takes a lot of recoil, which is fine on top of the Stealth Rock damage, so it'll rack up. And he's probably not gonna wanna stay in, so I'm just gonna U turn out. Unless he have, yep, he's not gonna wanna stay in, and I'm gonna U turn out. If it's Rose Raid, that's fine. And Rose Raid, just by the way it seems to be switching, also seems to be choice, but. I really don't think he's going to have like two Scarfers on his team. If anything, I think the, um, I think that the, what do we call it, the Staraptor is the Scarfed one, if anything. Really quick, I'm going to check Beedrill speed. It's 216. It's, it's fast. So, I'm going to go into Beedrill because I think that I can, I think I can outspeed and take care of this thing. I really do, and I really hope I do, because... Freaking green, green Hornet Beedrill right here. How do you not think that's awesome? So, shiny Beedrill, I love it. Shiny Beedrill looks so cool. So, we could do the U-turning thing, or we could do the, the X-Scissor thing, or we could do the Poison Jab thing. I think I'm gonna do the po not the Poison Jab, the, the X-Scissor. The X-Scissor thing is what I'm gonna do. He's taking a while to think about it, which is a good sign, because... It means he's like, eh, I don't really know what to do. And I feel like if he goes into Star Raptor to resist it, even then it might do a decent amount because Beedrill's attack is insane. Like, they totally nerfed its special attack completely, which is good because Beedrill's never going to be a special attacker ever. Especially the 15 base special attack, never. So, they like nerfed that and they made its, um, its attack insane. So, switch it out, which is great, and I really want to see goes into his own Beedrill. I want to see how much he's going to do to this guy. Just out of curiosity, how much he's going to do. It's like Beedrill on Beedrill action, and it takes it out. Not very effective, but it takes it out. That should just, like, be somewhat of a statement as to how powerful Beedrill is. So, although, honestly, at the same time, it's not saying much because Beedrill, especially the regular Beedrill as well, is kind of crappy. So, I'm also not sure of the speed tie, or not speed tie, but the speed um, tier of this guy. I, I just know he's super fast, so being unsure of that, I, I definitely want to keep Beedrill alive, that's for sure. And if he's carrying something like, I don't know, Ice Beam, U-Turn maybe, um, 
I'm almost thinking about sacking off Sceptile because I mean he's got a, he's got a Victini. We got rid of Don Fan. He's got Roserade, which I can't do much to. He's got a Star Raptor, which I can't do much to. So all in all, I'm kind of feeling like Sceptile is the easiest one to sack off, or kind of the most expendable one. That way, if I make a mistake, it's not a big deal if I lose him. So we're gonna go into Sceptile. Keeping Beedrill alive because I'm not sure what Greninja is going to do or the speed on this. I could check, uh, but I'm just kind of, I'm kind of going off a hunch. I don't want to go and do the, the, the typing thing and the, you know, interrupting for, oh, he just goes for a water shuriken. So I actually made a really good play here. And we find out that he is a physical attacker unless he's running a mixed set, then he's physical attacker life orb. Which I guess it's useful to know that he probably won't. He probably won't have ice beam, so I guess it's not as threatening. And I could go for Leaf Storm, but I could also predict him to switch out into something like Roserade and just Hidden Power and hope that I have Fire, as he withdraws Greninja and hopefully I have Fire or Ice to take care of Roserade or Ice. Give me Ice, please give me Ice, because if this is Ice, I will be so hyped. <laughs> And I guess we'll find out here what hidden power it is because I totally forgot and it doesn't take it out. It's neutral, so I'm pretty sure it's fire. Now, Sceptile probably does not outspeed the Scarfed Staraptor, and I think Landris is my best option. Just in case he decides to close combat, I don't want to bring in Rotom. Plus, I get an Intimidate off, and I don't want to bring in Salamence right now either because, honestly, Landris is the most expendable right now for me in this situation. I mean, I have Stealth Rock, but Stealth freaking uh landris isn't gonna do much to rosary it can outspeed a victini and kill it probably and probably take care of victini but i kind of sacrificed landris here to deal with the star raptor and make sure the star raptor dies to recall which is great and it depends on what he goes into now probably given my landris's health i am sacking it off because Intimidate is useful, but I also have Salamence for Intimidate if I really need it for the Victini if he happens to be a physical attacker. Although, Greninja is also just as physical. And he switched out instead of going for an Ice type attack. So, question is whether he has an Ice type attack or not. Uh, I guess we're gonna, I guess we're gonna take a gamble here. Kind of based on how he switched either. He's choice. Trying to make me think, I'm trying to make me think he's choice. He's mixed. He's <laughs> he could be a lot of things, but right now because we know he's a physical attacker, he carries ice punch. But given that it's it dies, <laughs> should have sacked off Landers. Now it's not the end of the world. His life orb and um, he has life orb, so I don't know why I said he might be physical, which is not correct. Uh, once again, speed tiers I am unfamiliar with. Now, I know Sceptile does not outspeed it. I think that my Rotom Wash is the best thing to deal with this right now. So you know he has Water, Ice, probably uh, Dark Type Attack, and like something like Night Slash and maybe Power Punch, potentially. So that's still like on the fence, but if he wants to stay and attack me, that's fine. He's at minus two. He's Gunk Shot! I forgot to get that! And that is such a good move for a tap and it misses so I am sorry because that and that didn't even kill that did not even kill so Rotom you're doing your shit wrong I'm sorry but you're doing your shit wrong now I think Landris Landris would be the perfect thing to sack off here honestly if I have to sack something it's gonna be Landris put him at minus two if I really want to then definitely get in Beedrill safely if anything but he's probably going to kill off Landris at the health I'm at. I'm going to use her now. It doesn't matter because he's probably going to stay in. Because I, I think if he tries to go in one more time, then Stealth Rock kills him. So he's just going to water shirk me on the off chance that I outspeed with the Scarf or something like that. Because I am not carrying anything. If he hits me twice, I live. If he hits me three times, I live at one. And if he hit me one more time, I'm dead. That was close though. Give me one more time and I was dead. That was lucky. So, next Pokemon. What are we gonna do here? Okay, he's almost dead to freaking Life Orb. And honestly, this is where beat. This is where I'm gonna find out whether or not Beedrill outspeeds. Which, if it outspeeds the entire time, and I'm just like, 
Uh, I know for later reference, for future reference, I'm pretty sure I'm jolly, not adamant, but I did not check, and I'm not gonna check now because, I mean, why should I? So, X is or just to kill it. <sighs> and he goes for Water Shuriken, obviously. Water Shuriken just to get as much damage as he can. Doesn't do a lot. If I'm lucky, he's only gonna hit twice. If I'm unlucky, he's gonna hit three times. If I'm even more unlucky, he's gonna hit four times. And if I'm super unlucky, he's gonna hit one more time. Yeah, good. Thank you, game. Great. Great. So this is a problem now. Uh, can I outspeed other things? I don't know. I don't know if I can outspeed other things. And that kinda scares me. Uh, Roserade, you're coming in. I. I really just have the hunch that you're not scarfed. I really do. So. I am just going to X scissor you. I'm just gonna X scissor you. And I'll speed. And hopefully I kill. Because that animation is awesome. And thank you. Thank you, we killed. But because he did that, it means I'll at least outspeed the. I'll outspeed the other thing. Otherwise. He would have brought in Victini knowing he could outspeed and kill me, but he didn't bring in Victini and he knows that he can't outspeed me and kill me. So there's a potential, there is the potential for Poison Jab to kill. Alright, Poison Jab. Impress me. Come on. Impress. Oh, never mind. Never. Why would you? Why? If you outspeed, why? Why? Alright. 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 Never mind. <laughs> so we'll go into the last thing here. Well, not the last thing, but honestly, Rotom Wash. Just H <laughs> HP water. <laughs> Just Hydro Pump it. Don't miss. Don't do the thing where you miss. Because the missing thing is not the thing that we need right now. But as long as you ha have the freaking... He is Scarf. I kept thinking Star Raptor Scarf. Might have been Choice Bandit, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, but Hydro Pump kill because if you don't, then we have problems. And yes, so there. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this and it's live. It's ha I haven't done live in a while, so if you enjoy it, leave a like. And as always, I love y'all and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And bye.